Hey everybody, Will Tompkins here at Tom Cruise Studios, Live Music in Austin, bringing you episode number 10 for uh, Three Beers and a Whiskey featuring Colorblind. Here is the whiskey and beer number three. So, I wouldn't worry about it too much because there was like, there was a giant cube of ice. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, um, but still. Just... So, it looks like a lot, but yeah, that's... um. Water? It's whiskey and water. No, it's water and whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably just strong. Are you not a whiskey drinker? I love, no, I love whiskey. I just okay, well, there you can't go. drink a lot of it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well then, there you go. See, it's not that. It's not bad right now. It's not bad. Yeah. It's only two percent whiskey. What is it? I like. Yeah, I was gonna say one percent. That's yeah. not even. So. Oh, am I supposed to? No, no. Well, we are now, though. Yeah. Sorry. All right. right. Y'all, thank you in the house for joining us. So, uh, and what are you drinking over there? Ice with like Coca Cola? I didn't want to chug it because then I knew I'd have to get up and go to the restroom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I rude. Did, I look, the so bartender's rude. calling out one of the guests. Oh, I didn't want to be like you. <laughs> oh. I mean, I have a little tiny bladder. <laughs> no, 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 no. I think most everybody in here can attest to the fact that my wife has a bladder the size of like a walnut. Yeah. Well, she and was making a like, comment saying that. He was worse than Marisa. Oh man, yeah. So hey, yeah, whatever. Got a baby bush. bladder. It's okay. yeah. Got a pee. You know. I might so, even. I'm kind of feeling a, a next one coming. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, I mean, we, we've got two beers down. We're on the whiskey. Third beers coming. Oh yeah, third beers coming. Oh, I see. Him. Yeah, we got third beer getting ready to drop. Um, so we're on the the better side of three beers and whiskey because tacos are coming up in a minute. Uh, this is the great stuff that like, I like poking at y'all because y'all aren't here and y'all don't this like after show shit we do. So much, so cool. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the after show. Wish y'all were here. So cool. You say that and then you're going to have some of these tacos and be like, oh dude, I was being all smart ass, but god damn. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. I can't so, wait. Yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, Dave. So we're talking making uh, Davy and Red Beard from uh, Dirty Dog. Red Beard's the huge guy with the red beard. Yes. Right? Okay. Yeah. So I, I used to go. Uh, see I think Ryan. I believe proper name is Ryan, but I call him Red Beard because he's the huge guy with. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I used to go t see Tyler play uh, in his old band Morningside at Dirty Dog mm -hmm. all the time. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah. There's more. Well, yeah, There's he used more to play backstory. Well, I, I I just used to go see him play there all the time, and I just remember like being really intimidated by the door guys there because yeah, they're just yeah, like, you know what? Dudes. Oh yeah. The, so uh yeah. They're huge. They're scary dudes. But man. the guy, but Redbeard, if if behind if the bar, yeah. If I'm getting, if, if I'm correct about who I think it is, is actually like a super sweet dude. Really, yeah. really nice and guy. And all all of them really are. I mean, yeah. Davey is a great great guy. I love his son. I'm super happy. Like you know, when Davey posts stuff about his son on the internet mm -hmm. and keeps us uh, with what's going on in his life, that's awesome. But the fact that these guys, you know, are doing bait. Basically the same thing Ben and Anthony did. They're like, all right, we're we're pawning everything in our entire life. We're putting it on the line, and we're going to go out, and we're going to build this place, and we're going to have our own. I mean, that's bad. That's, yeah, so that's cool. really cool. You know, that's Ben really and Anthony cool. got that rock place going on. I mean, they've, they've done other shows there. We've got hip-hop shows. And sure, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they've done any country Man, shows. That, Anthony uh, and, and Come and Take It Productions have been holy crap. just huge in keeping, like, Specifically, Austin metal. The metal, yep. Like rolling, like that's yeah. And his oh, Critical like Assembly, right? He's a drummer for Critical yeah, Assembly. And he, Anthony is also a, a stud of a drummer. <laughs> <laughs> stud of a drummer, Anthony. You know, and Critical Assembly's been doing it for a while in yeah. Austin, so it was good to see that they they're getting some love. Yeah. From I've never even the been to city. any South by Southwest anything. Uh, what? Like, yeah, because uh, my birthday why? is in April. My birthday is okay. in April. And, well, wait, uh, okay, so go ahead, was, finish this, finish this statement, go so, ahead. So it all happens in March, uh -huh. so my 21st birthday was in April, uh, and uh, I guess I could have gone last year. Angelina, how old were you the first time you went to South by? Like, 11, 10? <laughs> The whole thing about South by is like you go to a show and you just get free alcohol thrown at you. Well, yes. yeah. And I mean, like all the cool shows, like if you have okay, so there's yes, there's that, and it's 
sucked. It sucked going and not being able to drink. Not being able to go to a bar. I was 18 and I went with my friends and we did the whole <laughs> like sneak a beer inside yeah, yeah. a cup with a straw and pretend like it's oh, yeah, and, yeah, but, nobody knew that. I mean, <laughs> but we yeah. did that, but at the yeah. same time it was kind of like every single time I would go, it was because I wanted to see somebody perform. I wanted to see this. Yeah, I yeah. wanted to Didn't see matter this. about drinking. Yeah, I mean, and it kind of sucked until then and even now I'm 22 and it's kind of like I have yet to go to a South by show when I'm of age. I haven't gone again. But goddamn, right? Those South by shows where you get into and it's all like free booze and the food's over there like, yeah, and you and it, and we're not talking about the wristband or the bad mm -hmm. stuff, but the day parties. That part happened. They're pretty sweet. We'll it's we'll just so, I'm, so, I'm so excited we'll have to for it. Start RSVPing like today now, now right? Do, yeah, do five one two and Austin three sixty and just yeah. And that's then that's my friend did. My friend, my friend, did. My friend Juan Thompson like he RSVP for a lot of, of stuff and. Even and, if you uh, don't go, I mean, the option is always there. If you RSVP, it's kind of like... Yeah, you might as well, right? You might as well go. Yeah. 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 But, the, and this is, I and it was funny, that's why I was like, I'm going to let him burn. I'm going <laughs> to let yeah, him say it. Because <laughs> I've had other friends that I've worked, you know, I go to work. I wish I could say this was my job and this paid all of these guys for coming to do this shit, but, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, whatever. I actually have a job and I have to work. Um, totally. And, yeah. yeah, sometimes, you know, doing this show and then going to work afterwards is really... Buddy, um, <laughs> but, Thursday shows, man. Uh, but um, going to South by, and then I have friends that you know I'll meet or coworkers, and they're like, "Oh, I can't go to South by because I can't afford a wristband or I can't afford a badge or it's too expensive." And I'm like, a "Hold stuff. on a second, South by Southwest is not about the badged." shows and the wristband shows south by southwest is this whole event that takes over the city and you just go you know you make the plans for like on these two days you know look in uh the chronicle and look online and find some of those bands that are coming to town you're like i really want to see this band and when are they playing and then just go and you know try to spend the day really it's not just going at a little time oh that band's gonna be at this time you, you're never gonna get in yeah but go and spend the day on 4th Street, 5th, 6th, 7th, you know, and on the east side of 35, on the west side of 35, and, and just walk around, and there's so every fucking, parking lots, they've got stages in a parking lot, people yeah. pull up in an 18-wheeler with a flatbed, and there's a band on the back of it, yeah. it's, it's the whole vibe of South By, yeah. and I hear people shitting on South By, like, oh, it's too commercialized, or it's, they, like, piss and moan about, and I'm like, well, yeah, eventually it's going to cannibalize itself. But the whole, I think, keep Austin weird kind of thing. Yeah. Um, where there's so many people that will come into town and do a show. And then they're like, well, we've got this showcase, but we're going to play as many shows as we can while we're in town. Yeah. The trick on that is South By has this stranglehold on it. Like, if you are on an official South By showcase list, you can't play any other shows. You're yeah. only allowed to play the South By shows. So all the bands are like... Okay, and they play a shit ton of other shows, but it's like we can't advertise it, we can't talk about it. So you have to really be on their Facebook page or their yeah. Twitter feed, and and they'll drop stuff, and you end up going to see, you know, Parkway or, um, you know, what was it uh, we saw when it was you and your brother yes, uh, you. asking Alexandria, oh, yeah. Yeah. and they were like they had an official showcase over here. And then, as we're waiting all day long, eight in the morning until whatever, to go see Asking Alexander, ten years ago? No, it eight was, years ago? No, actually, I think it was probably maybe seven years. Seven ago, or eight years ago. Eight years? And and so we go to see, you know, I'm here with the kids, and you know, she's third, seven years ago, fourteen, been 14 and then yeah. my son is like twelve or something, like eleven. Like eleven. And we wait all day long. And then they're like, oops, sorry. And then somebody comes out and like, they're playing a free show right over there later tonight. And we're yeah. like, what? And they're like, and they're like, yeah, that parking lot right there, they're gonna play a show. We're like, what the f So we walk yeah, across the street. Dude. And then, you know, at 12 o'clock at night, we're now seeing the band that the kids want to see. And now, you know, asking Alexandria. That's they're huge. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember who else it was, but it was like big. Upon big, Burning Body, yeah. asking Alexandria, at the Skylines. Yeah. There's some band from Houston that was an acoustic duo. Yeah. Played metal. Sure they played like it was metal. It was like this heavy, dark okay. metal. But it was 
two guys play guitar and the other one played drums and they there was no vocals and I, I was like for the whole 30 minute set I was all like what the is I was like it's really good but it's super weird that there's no vocals but that's yeah. why you gotta go to South by so you can that's why you gotta go just discover and like, go down you there like, and find new bands yeah all that stuff. yeah yeah um that is you get some that massive is, inspiration from that is one thing I'm, I'm very very uh, guilty of and convicted about is going to see more live music I don't I don't go out enough to go see enough bands man like, but I need it, to go do it more that's okay. Yes, you do. You know, for respect for your own art, which exactly. you do, and then to support the scene that you're part of. Um, you know, I've, I've told Felicia, and, and Kendall's been with me before, Max. Um, everybody here in the house. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> no, it's like, no, it's like, every, I can't say, I can't say Stephen, because... Yeah, no, he has, yeah, yeah, that's, we'll go south by with him, because he's never um, but. You know, the one thing I told my wife a long time ago is the one of the greatest things I loved about the Austin music scene is it's a two part thing. One is you go to a club to go see, hey, look, I'm gonna go see Colorblind, and I've met you guys, and I know you guys. And I'm like, this is cool, man. They're gonna play. This is the time that you go early. You want to check out a couple of other bands for, and you're sitting at the bar with your beer. And you're talking to the guy next to you, and you're like, oh, they're like, hey, what are you here? Oh, well, there's some friends of mine, or these guys I know, colorblind, they're going to be playing later. Oh, that's cool, all right. And you start bullshitting with this guy, and then all of a sudden he's like, hey, man, it was good talking to you. I got to bounce because I got to get up on stage. Yeah. And you're all like, what the fuck? What? Who the fuck was I just talking to? Yeah. And, and that's part of what I really love about the Austin awesome music mm -hmm. scene is that there are so many people that... It's like, I'm in a band, I bust my ass, I spend all this time, and the other half of my time when I'm not working, I'm not in the band, I'm going to be over here at a show watching somebody else. Yeah. They're so genuine. That's the other thing about the Austin music scene, and I'm not, of course, from like Nashville or whatever, but... Hey, watch out for that Nashville hey, thing. Hey, 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 hey. Hernandez, from, man, is but killing. But from Austin, it's kind of like you talk to somebody or you go out to a show, or what I can remember from being so young is that everybody's so genuine. Yeah, like everybody's absolutely. so it's that moment where you're talking to somebody and then they do get up on stage and you're like, they weren't trying to push anything on you. They weren't trying to flaunt what they were doing or they weren't trying to right. force you to listen to anything. Yeah. They were genuinely saying like, oh yeah, like how's the weather? You like Austin? How's Austin treating you? Is it? And they're pushing and promoting Austin. Then they'll start, okay, well, sorry, I got to go back up on stage and you see them afterwards and you're like, well, I was talking Dude, to you. Oh my God, I didn't realize. Like, yeah. Yeah. That, that's the yeah, thing about yeah. it is that there are music, I mean, this, this city is crawling with musicians that are insanely good at what they Something do. Something that I'm really, really so, thankful for yeah. is it's cool being to be from, from Austin. Yeah. Austin is such an awesome city to, to grow up in. And I, I remember the only time that I ever went to South By, I grew up skateboarding. I, uh, and oh. and I went to South By because there was like some Nike like skate park thing. And I just remember oh, skating that. Like, uh, over on 4th Street. Yes, uh, it was on 4th Street. Across uh, Scoot In. Uh, no, it was across the Vans. Uh, no, it wasn't a Vans thing. It was actually a Nike thing, which is weird. But it was across the street from Spaghetti Warehouse. Okay. And you know where that parking lot is where it's like bangers? Yes. So it, they put like this, it was like an elevated thing and they had like, I was supposed to say they had like dodgeball or something. I, I can't remember <laughs> what it was, but there's a little, they had like a little skate park thing set up and I just remember like being a sweaty... 15 year old like <laughs> so you have been to South by yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But I mean yeah Thrasher had one this past Ooh. summer oh they always do um the uh Elijah I said Vans I'm sorry it, it is Thrasher that Death doesn't over at um yeah. yes yeah. Um, yeah. that's one that's over by Scoot yes. In yeah, yes, that's on East Sixth Street. Yes, and yes, yeah, that's where my they wife ditched me with these girls, and she was all, they dropped me off on a corner, and I was like, hey, I'm gonna go over here. And they're like, okay, they dumped me off, they took hey, off, we'll and I'm like, no, we won't. An hour we'll later, I was all like, yeah, we'll where are y'all at? And they're like, oh, we're at a show. And I was like, it was okay. Funny everyone was getting beers, and they're like, dude, Elijah Woods over there. I'm like, Bilbo fucking baggage. <laughs> <laughs> No, that was Frodo. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. No, and also... No, because no, I don't even think I'm like, what? And they're like, yeah. And then they had like a half pipe. And it was yeah. Like, it was it was cool. There's crazy. actually a real... There's some video floating around of Travis Scott playing a show at Deathmatch. 
And it's like a show of him playing, uh, he's playing like a set at Deathmatch in front of like nobody, and then it showed like the crowd this year at ACL. Where he was headlining. Like where he had headlining. <laughs> so it's yeah. just kind of, it was cool to see, I don't know, it was just cool yeah, to see but he played it. What you get at South by is you run into shit, you go to do something, and you're like, oh, one of like six people there, and you're like, okay. <laughs> and then later you're like, dude, I was there. Yeah. yeah. So. All that stuff is free. Yeah. yeah. Beer was, like, super super cheap. And it's not to say like the best things come free. I mean, I know people say that a lot, but it's kind of fucking true. It's Especially really with cool. South by. Absolutely. I mean, you can do the best things at South by for nothing. Just yeah. keep the whole Just day before, like get all of the energy <laughs> that you have in your soul. You're gonna walk so much. And oh my God! Out. Yeah, walk a f- marathon, dude. Drink Twenty of water. Hey man, it's for, takes takes care of all the. Beer calories, right? Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> but it's hot and yeah, but definitely so, worth it. Yeah. All right, so uh, we we're on beer number three. The whiskey sort of tapped and done. and done. Well, I mean, you know, whatever. Okay, we're, 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 hey, it's three beers of whiskey. We didn't say we have to completely kill three beers and drink the whiskey. Thank you for that. We're just because if on, that's what it was, yeah, they're gonna be pouring it's into my the fault. cab in a minute. It's my fault. So yeah, yeah one of y'all is on one and three quarters. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It's all good. We're fine. Damn it. <laughs> Okay, I'll it was on those, but oh, you brought the child to the show. Yay! All right, so everybody has their third beer. Yay! All right, we made it. We made it. Um, so I appreciate you guys coming in and sitting down and and like just being stupid and drinking beer and like bullshit about man. like awesome. all this stuff. Um, I definitely wish you guys lots of success because I have listened to music. I love it. Um, it's really good, and you guys deserve all of the good things that should come to you. Uh, and I know Three Beers and Whiskey is not doing a show next Friday, so chances are... Come hang out, man. Uh, I'll probably hang out. be at the Dirty Dog on Friday. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unless some band comes to town that says, hey, we need you to shoot. Not going to happen. Sure. Um, <laughs> I'll be at the Dirty Dog. Plus, it's going to be like one of those last shows you get to see Davey and Redbeard before they go off and do their yeah. thing. So, well, that's really exciting. Um, yeah, thank y'all very much for joining us tonight. Hey, thank you for having us. Um, really appreciate gentlemen. it. Gentlemen. Cheers. Thank and you. everybody that was hanging out tonight, I had the full crew in the house tonight uh, with a uh, special guest, Max. Hell sir. Yeah. Love hey, you, brother, for dropping in. in. Yeah. Um, Angelina Sky Tompkins, thank you very much for running the bar thank tonight you. while this yes, cruise was uh, down in Houston. Steven, happy birthday. Jennifer, happy birthday. I think for the rest of the world, we love all you guys. Uh, drink the three beers and a whiskey. Be happy. Stay safe. We'll see y'all next time. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in to that episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey featuring Colorblind. Make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon for notifications so you don't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey.